dynasty. Only a handful of teams in the tradition-rich history of college football can lay claim to having a football dynasty. Most have long passed, except for one. The one belonging to Bobby Bowden's Florida State Seminoles. With a string of 13 consecutive 10-win seasons and top four finishes, the Seminoles have become the benchmark by which all others are measured. No other team can boast of the Seminoles' accomplishments during the 90s. Florida State has the highest winning percentage of any team of any decade and a record of 108, 13, and 1. FSU has not lost at home in the friendly confines of Doak Campbell Stadium since 1991, a streak going back 46 games. The Seminoles are an amazing 8-2 in bowl games during the 90s, with their first national championship coming in 1993. So how does the 1999 team figure into this dynasty? This year's Seminole football team accomplished what no other Seminole team or college football team has ever done. Go wire to wire from preseason to finish as the number one team in the nation. This is the first undefeated team in Florida State football history. The senior class of 1999 was also the most successful in school history boasting a remarkable 55 and 6 record. They are also the only group to win every home game, and they played in three national championships in the past four seasons. Simply amazing. When you talk about Florida State football, the name of Bobby Bowden is synonymous. In 1999, Bowden notched his 300th win in the first ever father-son game when his Seminoles beat son Tommy's Clemson Tigers. He is the second winningest active coach behind only Joe Paterno with 304 victories and is number five among all-time Division 1A coaches. He is number one in bowl winning percentage, boasting a record of 17-5-1. And his crowning glory came with the Seminoles' first ever undefeated season and second national championship in their 46-29 victory over the Virginia Tech Hokies in the 2000 Nokia Sugar Bowl. Perhaps the biggest challenge for Bobby Bowden in 1999 was taking a team ripe with superstars and getting them to play as a single unit. The motto for FSU in 1999 would be, Team, it's not about me. The 1999 team received a boost when wide receiver Peter Warwick turned down millions in the NFL to see to it that the Seminoles reached their national championship goal and so that he could get his degree. The Sugar Bowl MVP saved his best for last with a phenomenal performance, guaranteeing FSU the national championship ring. Offensively, the Seminoles under coach Mark Richt were led by quarterback Chris Wenke, who's become one of the elite quarterbacks in all of college football. Along with Wenke was All-American Jason Whitaker and All-ACC Tarlos Thomas anchoring the line. Also, All-American Peter Warwick, the most exciting player in all of college football. Add junior Travis Minor at tailback and two-time Lou Groza award-winning kicker Sebastian Janikowski. And you could see why Florida State fielded one of the most potent offenses in the nation. But to be the best in the nation, you must have a strong defense. This year's D was led by another All-American in defensive lineman Corey Simon and All-ACC lineman Jerry Johnson. The leading tackler in 99 was All-ACC junior linebacker Tommy Pauley. And All-ACC defensive back 
Mario Edwards highlighted a strong secondary. FSU swarming assault force continued the tradition of great Seminole defenses under coach Mickey Andrews. In 1999, Florida State won their eighth consecutive Atlantic Coast Conference Championship, won the state championship by defeating Miami at home and the Florida Gators in Gainesville, and won their second national championship of the 90s with a 46-29 victory against the Virginia Tech Hokies. Finishing with a record of 12 wins and no losses. Undefeated, undisputed, wire to wire number one, the 1999 national champions, the Florida State Seminoles. Peter Warwick came back to college for his final season with a purpose. He wants a national championship on his resume when he turns pro. In the home opener against Louisiana Tech, Warwick shows why he's the most electrifying player in college football. First down, toss pitch, and a reverse hand out to Warwick. Cuts off his blocker, cuts it back against the grain, runs into a teeth his balance, looks for a block, breaks another tackle, zigzags Warwick to the 15, Warwick to the 10, to the 5, touchdown Florida State, what a run! Freshman receiver Anquan Bolden was also key with two TD receptions from Chris Wenke. Here's the snap. Wenke, hard slant, diving catch, touchdown FSU. Anquan Bolden. The defense facing last year's NCAA passing leader and quarterback Tim Rattay holds the Bulldogs to a mere 80 yards in the second half as the Seminoles cruise to a 41-7 season opening win. Play of the game, final score, Florida State 41, Louisiana Tech 7. On September 11th, two Heisman hopefuls square off in a prime time matchup on ESPN and in front of over 80,000 garnet and gold faithful. Georgia Tech's Joe Hamilton and Florida State's Peter Warwick live up to their billing in a shootout at Dope. He's got a cowboy in front for the 45 to the 40, for the 35 to the 30. He is out of bounds at the Georgia Tech 21 yard line. There are no flags. Great throw and catch. Third down six, here's the snap, and Warwick's going to run the ball. Warwick runs the ball to the 10. Warwick to the 5, 2, 1. Touchdown, FSU. Oh, Dallas. Once the team scored, they couldn't stop. The teams produced touchdowns on seven straight series, combining for five in the second quarter alone. Dropping Hamilton, gets the pass away, caught, first down and then some, to the 40, 35 to the 30, to the 25 to the 20, could go, will go, touchdown Georgia Tech. Davis, he knocks the ball, gets the ball off, dumps it off to Jeff Cheney, Cheney to the 25, Cheney to the 20, breaks the tackle, on his feet to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, Cheney to the 3, 2, oh, oh, he's got a touchdown. Yellow Jackets quarterback Joe Hamilton was more than worthy of Heisman consideration. Completing 22 of 25 for 387 yards and four touchdowns. FSU gets one more touchdown than their Atlanta visitors and lead 28-21 at the half. We gave up the big boy. They faked us a couple times. And there's times when we just ain't fighting hard enough to get to the quarterback or make our coverage or be the guy, the last guy's going to make a play. There's absolutely no reason in our defense we should ever give up a big play. So we got 30 more minutes of football. 30 more minutes of football. We played them last year up there at the half one was it? Seven and seven. We went out in the second half and jumped right on them. I mean, we better do it. They're that young good football team. We said they were. Uh, it's down the wheels now. Which one of you is going to collapse first? The Tribe finally gets a little breathing room on the first drive of the second half. Pete Warren, great catch by Peter Warren. 
Big defensive plays by Jamal Reynolds and Roland Seymour are nullified when a penalty allows Tech another opportunity. They're going to get the third. Hamill with the shotgun. Drop it. Under pressure. He sacked at the 11. Roland Seymour. The Yellow Jackets pull closer. And to the two-yard line. It's caught. Touchdown, Tech. Yellow Jackets score. Great play. Chris Winkie does some damage of his own, connecting on 16 of 29 passes for 262 yards. Not to be lost on the aerial assault of both teams is Travis Minor, who rushes for 122 yards on the night. Janikowski hits two big cushion field goals to give the Seminoles a 41 to 28 lead. But Georgia Tech comes right back, closing the gap to six. Travis Miner recovers the onside kick, and the Knolls escape with a 41-35 victory. Since Florida State's offensive and defensive units don't always seem to be in sync at the same time, it's a good thing place kicker Sebastian Janikowski has been almost perfect this season. Janikowski kicked five field goals, blasted all of his kickoffs into or out of the end zone, and managed to run down an NC State linebacker to save points in FSU's game against the Wolfpack. It is going to be picked off. He can run it back. Look out. Gets a block. Gets another. Outson's coming over to try to bring him down. He misses. Chasing him down is oh, Sebastian Janikowski. After NC State upset the Seminoles last year, the Tribe was not about to take this game lightly. The defense would be awesome, limiting NC State to just over 200 yards of offense. The terrorizing D would score two touchdowns on the day, one coming on this fumble recovery. Wolfpack QB Jamie Barnett scorched the FSU defense for 287 yards last year. This year, he would only muster 129. The secondary would atone with four interceptions. Pass away, throws it downfield. Take Cody, picks it up. Just down, here comes the blitz. He puts the ball in the air. It is nearly oh, yes. it's caught. It's picked up. Great catch by Cookie Thomas. So that's Fryer blitzing, and Barnett's going to be flushed out of the bucket. Pass picked up at the 45, to the 40, to the 30. Abdul Howard will go all the way. Touchdown, Florida State. The Knowles conquer the Wolfpack with an impressive 45 to 11 victory and move to 2-0 and o in the ACC. The main problem for the top-ranked Seminoles against the North Carolina Tar Heels was staying interested for four quarters after their lightning-quick start. The Knowles would put this one away early. We've got it at the 24! Curry stripped of the football on the quarterback draw play. Lines up right of the toss pitch, goes left side, Miner follows, Kendra cuts it behind Kendra, he will score another touchdown at FSU. The snap, play action by the quarterback, looks up field, oh, it's picked off, intercepted the 20, it is going to be short key touchdown at FSU. Before the first quarter was half over, FSU scored 28 points en route to a 42-10 annihilation of the target. Pete Ward to the 45, to the 40. Pete gets a block to the 30. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, FSU. The defense is again dominating as sophomore quarterback Ronald Curry fumbles once, has three passes intercepted, and is sacked five times. The Knowles continue to roll in the ACC. Question, what happens when you score on all eight of your first half possessions? The answer, a 44 to nothing halftime lead. The top ranked Seminoles overwhelmed Duke in Jacksonville with a blistering first half performance. 
Chris Winkie throws five touchdown passes, three to Peter Warwick to lead the offense. Warwick even throws one of his own. New quarterback, and that is Warwick's going to throw the pass downfield. Throws it down to Cole. Five, three, two, one. Touchdown, FSU. Nine Duke penalties and two interceptions in the first half make it easy work for Florida State. Thompson puts it up for grabs. It is picked off. It was to be a week of turmoil for the number one Seminoles as they got set to play their oldest rival. Peter Warwick would be suspended indefinitely following his arrest on misdemeanor theft. The All-American wide receiver goes on national television and apologizes, then provides moral support and encouragement for FSU against the Miami Hurricanes. Winkie leads the offensive attack, connecting with 11 different receivers for 332 yards and two touchdowns. Senior Jermaine Stringer gets three catches for 80 yards, including this 48-yarder to open the score. First touchdown since 97, a 48-yarder. And I see you, Chris Winkie. Ron Dugans also comes through with five grabs for 80 yards. With FSU up by seven in the first quarter, Miami's Kenny Kelly answers. FSU returns the favor and regains the lead. But Miami Santana Moss wants to prove that Miami is ready once again to play with the big boys. Moss will outrace everybody. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Miami Hurricane. In motion, Moss sprinting that way. Kelly, pump fake Kelly. Throws the ball toward the end zone. It's oh, no. caught. Touchdown. Chris Wenke gives the hometown crowd something to cheer about on FSU's next drive. Ryan Sprague, touchdown, FSU. Where'd that play come from, PT? It's the Seminoles and Hurricanes of old with the score tied at 21 at the half. 30 more minutes. Talk about a championship, we got 30 more minutes. Man, you must not let those guys out, Mike. They lost to Penn State in the fourth quarter. They lost to East Carolina in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and I'm sure that's been preached to them. Don't let them, don't let them. You must go out there and drill them. Early in the third quarter, FSU drives for the lead. Down a distance, Winky, quick out, pass, gets the pass away to Anquan Bolden. Bolden, sidestep move, Bolden's inside the 29. He is 12 of 15, here's the kick, good snap, good hold, airborne, and it is good. Sebastian Janikowski breaks a 21 all tie. It's 24-21. The second half belongs to the Seminoles' tenacious defense. Led by Tommy Pauley, Corey Simon, Ryan Allen, Jamal Reynolds and Bradley Jennings. The Tribe D shuts the Hurricanes out. Be ripped down by Jamal Reynolds. Here's the snap. 
Dropping. Oh, the Seminoles get to Kelly this time. He may well be sound. Bubble the football. Loose football. Who's got it? In the fourth quarter, Ron Dugans comes up big. By Dugans. Dugans to the 30. 35 to the 40. Dugans to the 45 to the 50. He's out of bounds at the Miami 29 yard line. Then a pass interference sets up a goal line situation. Travis Miner adds seven to put the Knowles up by ten. I'm going to come at you, says Travis Miner, and he takes it right up the gut and scores. Miner, always the big game player, would carry 25 times for 146 yards. With one last gasp, the Hurricanes are blown away. Thanks to Derek Gibson. Yes. Intercepted by Derek Gibson. What a play by Gibson, the rover back. Miami proves a worthy opponent once again, even though the Seminoles have owned them over the past five years. With superstar Peter Warwick on the sidelines, the number one team in the nation remains a perfect 6-0 by beating Miami 31-21. After beating arch-rival Miami, getting up for a homecoming game against Wake Forest would seem to be a problem. The Knowles, however, would shake off a lethargic first half to defeat Wake Forest 33-10. Chris Wenke's prowess in the air accounts for over 350 yards, with two TDs going to Atrus Bell. Touchdown to Fisher, Atrus Bell! Miner goes in motion. Here comes a stunt up front. The pass over the middle. Caught. Touchdown, FSU. Andrew Spell's got two. The Polish powder keg Sebastian Janikowski adds four field goals, and the Seminoles stay perfect. 52 yards out. In the weeks leading up to this historic father-son game, Ann Bowden said she was rooting for her husband of 50 years to win but in a close game against her son, Tommy. For Daddy Bowden, it was career win number 300 on the line. With star receiver Peter Warwick back in the lineup, the Seminoles were more lucky than good. This is why, this is why you play football. You don't like this. Y'all like this. I do too. Now remember, just get this, keep the picture. They'll come out sky high, jumping, clapping, <coughs> crowd, uh, crowd noisy, and loud and everything. And, that, and it's going to be the way until you, until you, you know, hit them. Until you hit. Once you start hitting them, they don't hear that crowd anymore. They start looking out where you are. And we got to hit. It's got to be a hitting contest. No penalties. In the first half, it is the Clemson defense and the Knowles' lack of execution that has the Tribe down 14-3 to at the half. We think they got out fall. We got 30 more minutes. They just out hustling, out fighting us. Defense don't lose your composure. All they had was a 50 yard dad gun completion and a fake punt. They ain't done nothing else. We can't lose our composure because of that. <coughs> Offense, all you gotta do is execute. Y'all ain't execute. All you gotta do is protect your passer. We got a little bit better than as we went along. Quarterback, you gotta set and fire. I mean, you gotta hit them. You gotta set and fire. And then we ain't got no other way. And receivers, you gotta catch the ball. I saw alligator arms out there tonight. I saw a guy go after fast and didn't reach the fast end. He's afraid, he, afraid he's gonna get hit, I guess. I don't know. We can't win like that. We can't win like that. We, are we national champ? Are we the number one team or not? Now we gotta, we gotta figure this thing out. Are we gonna play like number one? Or are we gonna come up here and let those guys out spirit us? We knew it was going to, I told you it was going to be that way, didn't I? I knew dang well he'd have them ready to go. We got 30 minutes, men, to win the title. Well, think, just think a minute. We got 30 minutes to win the title. Is that worth Are you going to go out and fight your dead gum guts out? Knock that quarterback on his butt? Knock those blockers out of your way? Knock those blockers down? In the second half, it is the Seminoles' defense that shows the character of a champion as they shut down Clemson's dangerous offense. Corey Simon, 
Jerry Johnson and Tommy Pauly make the plays. After a Janikowski field goal early in the third, FSU waits until later in the quarter to tie it up. Touchdown, Florida State. Row the 34 away to the left side. Here's the snap. Play action by Winky. Gets the pass away toward the end of the Yes, touch. Yes, two-point yes. conversion. Danny Kendra. What a throw by Winky under intense heat. With the defense still crushing the Tigers' offense, Winky's go-to guy in the fourth quarter is Ron Dugan. Hot ball by Dugan's. Dugan sides up to the 45 to the 40. Dugan's to the 35-yard line. Janikowski delivers the game-winning points with just 5.26 left in the game. 17 to 14. Janikowski's field goal, a 40-yarder. Father versus son, and Danny knows best. Florida State 17, Clemson 14. <laughs> We got one other thing. This is a Thomas Kincaid picture, oh, yeah. Beautiful. and it's a lighthouse. It's called the Beacon of Hope. And we think that you're a beacon of hope, and you're a lighthouse. That's pretty. That's great. Hey, man, this is beautiful. This is really beautiful. That's be uh, both of them are. And uh, thank you very much. You know, of course, I don't win 300 wins without players. I mean, the players won them all. So I'm thankful. Let's. Uh, I'm proud of you, Knight, man. Real, real proud of you. Well, you talk about set for a trap. That was a trap, wasn't it? And we didn't play as good as we can play. We can do better. But you know the thing I like best? The defense was about to fall apart the first half. They were just on the verge, you know. And then you came back the second half and just, I mean, just picked it up, you know, and got, got your poise back and won the darn game. It was to be a win only a mother could love. Bobby Bowden sneaks away with career victory number 300 as the top-ranked Seminoles rally for a 17-14 decision over son Tommy's Clemson Tigers. According to Bobby Bowden, the test of a winner is his ability to shake off adversity. Against Virginia on October 30th, Chris Winky did just that. Winky responded with three touchdown passes after throwing three interceptions. Down by three at the half, FSU's big players would make the big plays. Minor, minor, left side, three, two, one, touchdown, Florida State. To work, nice sidestep move from oh, the near wow. sideline to the 45 to the 40. He is to the 35 to the 30, flag zone. Warwick to the 20-yard line, Warwick to the 15. He's going to go in, but remember the flag. Warwick will go all the way, touchdown, FSU. The defense, after knocking out the Cavaliers' starting quarterback, Harass backup David Rivers. Rivers is a meager four of 11 for 32 yards and throws a costly interception to nose guard Corey Simon. Corey Simon, the All-American. FSU clinches their eighth consecutive ACC championship with a 35-10 win. In a season where the top-ranked Seminoles were plagued by inconsistency, the Maryland Terrapins provide the perfect tune-up before the showdown in the swamp. Touchdown, 28-3. Here's the snap. Pressure coming. Post pattern caught. Warwick, three, two, one. Touchdown, Florida State. Florida State looks every bit the number one team in the nation by destroying Maryland 49 to 10. Florida State, Peter Warwick's got the hat trick. For Bobby Bowden, beating Florida is just as important as winning the national championship, if not more. The only thing standing in the way of number one FSU and a return to the national championship game is Steve Spurrier and the number three Gators. Think about that. What? What? 
In the first quarter, the Seminoles moved down the field with the precision of a team on a mission. Five yard line to the 30 yard line to the 35 to the 30. Quarterback now. Third down and three. Warwick's going to run to his left. Warwick to the 35. Warwick to the 30. Warwick's got a first down to the 29. Kendra and Cheney are the running backs. Hand off Cheney. Pops it to the 23 to the 22 to the 21 yard line. Peter Warwick's dazzling TD sends the Garnet and Gold faithful into jubilation. Touchdown, FSU! What do you see, PT? I see you, Peter Ward! Wow! See you, Mr. Heisman! Holy Toledo! He ran left! Nothing there! He came back the other way! Spurrier's rotating quarterbacks continue to be no match for a tough try D. It's an intercepted ball, Bradley Jennings. We've got it at the Gator 48-yard line. And who's standing over Doug Johnson with the pressure? Brian Allen all over Doug Johnson. Forcing Chris Winkie goes airborne as the Seminoles march towards Pader. Then Florida stiffens, and Janikowski puts FSU up 10 to nothing. Right down University Boulevard. Here is the snap, the toss pitch goes to Ernest Graham. We key on the run, and we stop him. The Gators and Knowles exchange field goals as the defenses take over. 51 yards, Jeff Chandler. All the bouts in the snap play Ingram. The hole, airborne kick by Janikowski's good. Boy, it looked like that snap was low. Marcus Outson. At the half, FSU goes into the locker room up by seven. Turn it up. Play like we're down. Play like we're losing. You got 30 more minutes of who wants it most. Five minutes, Coach. Got five minutes before kickoff. Somebody's got to make some plays. Defense, you've had a couple of passes right in your hands now. Come on, we got to make, you got to make plays this half. You've got to make plays. Rush the passer, man, and make the tackle. You're missing the tackle. Fight, fight harder the second half, man. Fight harder. Offense, line up and be ready for a fire call. They can't get lined up. We get a good completion out of that. All right, last thing, I, and you know, it's it's 30 more minutes. It's our ball. If our offense can take this thing and go down there and score, you know, I mean, that might they they might they might throw it in. You don't know. Okay, yes, sir. I really think so. Defense, defense. Now, defense, you're doing a great job. Just keep it up. Just try not to get the penalty. If they don't score, we win. They can't stop a play. They can't stop a play. Make those runs, go. Make those runs, go. In the second half, the Gators would get 10 unanswered points as hearts begin pounding for the Seminole faithful. Intercepted by Benny and Alexander. The 20, 15, 10. Gators score their first touchdown. Blanking Winky on the shotgun. Here's the snap. Pressure coming as the pass away. It is caught by Robert. The Knowles answer as Janikowski hits from 49, then again from 54 after a penalty. Wind in his face, high snap. Here's the kick. Janikowski's got plenty of leg, plenty of leg. It's good! good! Summoning up the will to win, FSU special teams are again special. Polly, we've got it at the Gator 22. 22 yard and You line. know what? We're going to give that block punt to Jim Glenn listing back in Tallahassee. Always clutch off the bench. Tailback Jeff Cheney delivered. Oh, it's a touchdown! We got the TD. I see we, you, Jeff Chain. We punched it in from the one. With UF about to tie the game again, Chris Hope becomes the hero. Dunson will drop back to throw. Looking downfield, looking to his right, looking to his right. Throws, picked up, intercepted at the one-yard line, Florida State. Boasting perhaps the best receiving core in all of college football. Winky finds number nine and number 13. Here's a snap to Winky. Outside pressure contained. Gets the pass away. Far side. Near side line. Caught. Snoop Menace. Touchdown. Touchdown, Florida State. Snoop Menace. You did it, son. But Spurrier's Gators are not done yet. It is a touchdown. No. They award a touchdown. 
getting the ball back one more time. Florida launches a desperation pass. When the dust settled, the undefeated Seminoles were doing the swamp stop. We're going to New Orleans. We're number one and unbeaten. What a job by this football team. Coming Celebrate. To we got one more. This is a fact. We beat the University of Florida. There's nothing that'll surpass that. There's nothing that'll surpass that. Now we'd love to, if I had to, if we if we had a choice, beat Florida and lose the national championship, or win the national championship but you lose to Florida, we'd have to say beat Florida. You know, because we live with that every day. You know, have your great year and get out. Why? Don't have two great years and get out. Or let me. I'm on three great years and get out. I want, I want years and I don't want to ever get out, you know. So, uh, no, nah, man, I, if I won every game, uh, and this year we got a chance to do it, start off number one in the nation and win every game and end up number one, that's about as good as you can get, you know. That don't make me want to quit. It makes me want to try to do it again next year. We play in a one versus three. This is going to be a one versus two. We play on them every year. <laughs> I mean, just last week, two weeks ago, we played a one versus three, you know. And then uh, last year we played a one versus two. Uh, the year before that, we played a one versus two, and probably a three versus uh, one. You know, we play those things all the time. Will that help us? Uh, you hope, but you don't know. Well, we felt like going into this year <clears throat> that this team had every ingredient that you were looking for. Uh, you say, well, you don't have receivers. Yes, we do. We got the best we ever had. Well, you hadn't got any runners. Well, we think we got the best we've ever had. Well, you hadn't got a quarterback. Yes, we do. We think we got one of the best ones we've ever had. Well, you hadn't got a veteran offensive line. Yeah, we got everybody back from last year. Well, you hadn't got a defense. Yeah, we got two starting tackles back and a defensive end back and uh, got two out of your three top linebackers. You got three out of your four secondary. Uh, well, you ain't got a kicker. Yeah, we have too. Got one of the best in the country. Well, you don't have a punter. Yes, we do. One of the best in the country. So it's a team that has the ingredients, but you still must put it together. So far, we've put it together for 11 ball games. And uh, now, if we could put it together one more game, I mean, when I say put it together, I mean play as good as we can play at the tempo we're capable of playing, then, then uh, I think we'd be okay. For the second year in a row, the Florida State Seminoles were in the BCS national title game. This year, however, the Seminoles were the number one team and favored to take the crown against the second-ranked Virginia Tech Hokies. The Nokia Sugar Bowl in New Orleans, Louisiana would be the site of the game that was fast taking on Super Bowl-like proportions. But during the week and in between practices, the Knowles get to have a little fun in the Big Easy. They're also able to give back to the community by visiting a local hospital. Evidence of the big time nature of this game is abundant during media day at the Superdome. The press is out in all their glory, basking in the quips from many Seminoles. Of course, the master of the one-liners holding court and captivating the press with his genuine Southern charm. But make no mistake, Bowden has a sinister plan. Chris Winky missed last year's title game because of an injury. He gets a rare second chance. Peter Warwick is a Seminole game breaker who returns for his senior season and a chance to win this trophy. Violent defenses are a Florida State trademark. Coach Bobby Bowden has produced winning teams 
colorful characters and Heisman Trophy winners. Now, he hopes to reap his second national title and first unbeaten season. Rest assured, the war dance is coming. But Virginia Tech quarterback Michael Vick is an extremely talented freshman who himself is planning an upset. Fiery defensive end Corey Moore has the Knoll's attention with verbal assaults all week. The time for talking is over. Number one versus number two. Number one, it's all together, remember now. As long as we're together, nobody can whip us. So we're all together. This, this is exactly what you want. You know, this is what you work for. This, this is what we want in man. You know, a shot at the national championship. Everybody in the country is going to see you play, you know. Boy, that's exactly what you want. Now, don't use that against yourself and make yourself tight. Don't get all tight and say, oh, man, everybody's watching. I might make a mistake. Don't you worry about mistakes. You've prepared yourself good. So just go out and play the best you can play and try to have a good time. Uh, try to have a good time. Main thing, just hit, hit, hit. Play physical. Yeah, I got it. we got to get going. Six to minute game. And the last thing I got, great players made great plays. Okay, let's uh, let's have a fair right quick. And then the offense. Showtime, baby. That's what it is. The Seminoles with Master Showman Peter Warwick take the field with a brash confidence. On hand are a host of former Seminoles from the NFL, all hoping to witness history. But Frank Beamer's Hokies show there for real on the opening drive. Close to pay dirt, Beamer gambles on fourth and one and pays for it. Kendrick, three running back. Here's a handoff in the backfield. Loose football. Diving for it. Seminoles may have come up with it. Yes. I think yes, they did. Yes. Big play. Florida State defense at the goal line. Derek Gibson rips the ball away. I believe it was Derek Gibson. Seminoles dodge a huge bullet. As excitement fills the air, the defenses take over. Vic hands the ball off, and a stick is made on stiff, and he is nailed by Tommy Pollock. We cheat blitz, here it comes. Vic, jailhouse blitz, we sack him back at the 40-yard line. Late the 36, in the first play. quarter, the FSU strikes. 45, 30, for the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Florida State, Pete Warwick. I see you, Peter Warwick. That's what I'm talking about right there. The Knowles' fierce D gets to Vic, who's called for intentional grounding. One play later, the Seminoles show who has the best special teams. Touchdown, Florida State! Well, you know I'm glad I'm not the coach. They brought the house. In the blink of an eye, Florida State is up by 14. However, Virginia Tech is the number two team in the nation for a reason. On the Tribe's next series, Wenke goes downtown again. Wenke, crossing pattern, caught Dugans, 50, 40, 35, 30, 25, 10, 5, touchdown, FSU. Ronnie Dugans, great throw, Wenke, another long bob, 64 more yards, Florida State. I see you, Chris Wenke, that's what you call threading the needle. FSU's defense holds the dynamic Hokies offense once more. He's going to try and run. Vic now in a loose, loose in the backfield. This time, Warwick makes them pay. Good snap. Here's the kick, and it's the off the foot kick. Not a very pretty thing. It will take a one bounce. Warwick's going to field it at the 40. To the 30, 45, to the 50, 40 yard line, 30 yard line, 25, 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Florida State, Peter Warwick. Though still early, it is a Seminole celebration. The Knowles are cruising. He's going to be the number one draft pick. He's going to get a ring. He just, hey, 
He just, the ante just went up for Peter Warren to the next level. 58-yard kickoff return. Late in the first half, Michael Vick shows his elusiveness, and Tech fights back. Cuts it back to the 40, to the 50-yard line, to the 45, Vick to the 40, Vick to the 30, Vick to the 20, and he is shoved out of bounds at the 12. Oh, Vick will run the option to the right. He's open. Touchdown, Virginia Tech, Michael Vick. Now, with the Seminoles up by 14 at the half, there's no room for complacency. We got to give us some 30 minutes. Turn up two more notches, baby. We got it. Listen real good. We got 30 more minutes. We've played 11 games. This is the 12th game. We're in better shape than they are. We're two touchdowns ahead. Now, we could win the game probably if we could do something with the kickoff. And then the offense could take it and score. They'd say, uh-oh, gosh, we've got to come back with three. You've got to fight, fight with your life. It's, it's 30 minutes now. It's, got, it's down to gut, foot, gut, gut, gut. They're sitting over there determining where they want it worse than us. Destiny is in our hands. We'll be back in here in 30 minutes. Either victors or losers. There won't be a tie. we got a two-touchdown lead. Guys, now a lot of guys nicked up. Everybody's got to suck it up. Last 30 minutes for the win. Can you suck it up? Are we all together? Everybody, everybody, everybody ready to go out and fight for the team? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Low and bounce to keep the trail. Not trail at the three, gets a good snap. The key to victory for Florida State was simple. Stop tax weapons. Far sideline he goes, 45, to the 50, to the 45, to the 42. But try as they may, the Seminoles could simply not do it in the third quarter. Nine unanswered points here in the third quarter by the Hokies. And this is a ball game at the Florida State 28. They'll run the power option. Vic to the 20. Vic to the 15 to the 10. Dropped at the six-yard line. Vic hands the ball off. Kendrick pops, bounce, weaves. Touchdown Tech. And Virginia Tech leads. Stunned. The Seminoles are now down by one. The two-point conversion fails. But the damage is done. Adversity hits FSU. It'll take strong leadership and the hearts of champions to stop this spiraling descent. Hey, we're gonna win this game! Fortunately, the Seminoles are led by a 27-year-old quarterback with poise to spare. Pitch back comes to Miner. Miner knows he's got a foot, he gets more than that to the 50. Miner spins, bounds, weaves down the sideline to the 40-yard line. We don't run the point. A flag thrown as well. A snap. Winky gets the swing pass out. Caught by Cheney in the flat. Cheney with a stiff arm to the 20, to the 17, to the 15, oh, what to what the 14-yard line. Nation dropping Winky throws toward the end zone. Caught touchdown. Rod Dugans touchdown at Bishu. Winky dropping, looking, dumps it over the middle. Caught two points. Pete Warwick. Michael Vick and the Virginia Tech Hokies show valiant effort, but the Seminoles' defense steps up. By Vick, tries to break the team, running to his left. Will be hit for the bubble, bubble, bubble. Yeah, but yeah. No, think they got it. I think we do too. What a hit from behind of Michael Vick, coughed up by the freshman quarterback for the Hokies. Jeff Cheney delivers again in relief of Travis Minor. Cheney 20, Cheney 15, 10, Cheney to the six-yard line. In his last game as a Seminole, Sebastian Janikowski provides the cushion. Lead by 10. We'll try to run Meanwhile, the, the defense continues to pummel Vic. 37, Vic runs the option to the right, tackle to the backfield. Another great hit by Florida State's defense. Now with the Hokies down, Sugar Bowl MVP Peter Warwick finishes them off. Flags thrown at the one. Touchdown, he does a touchdown, he did catch it. Touchdown, Florida State. Oh, Peter Warwick, how'd you do that? I see you, Peter Warwick. What a play, a juggling, acrobatic catch. Folks, I'm telling you right now, they can say what they want to say. The best player in college football is putting on a show tonight. They told me to finish him. Hey, give him a hand. Give him a hand. 
Warwick electrifies the Superdome crowd with a record 20-point game, catching touchdown passes of 64 and 43 yards, returning a punt 59 yards, and snagging a two-point conversion pass from Wenke. For the Hokies, thrilling freshman quarterback Michael Vick did all he could to run his team to victory in the Sugar Bowl, but it wasn't enough. Florida State is the perfect national champion. The win over the upstart Hokies stamped the Seminoles as the team of the decade and gave coach Bobby Bowden his second national title of the 90s. In year two under the BCS format, everything went Florida State's way. The Seminoles faced the sixth toughest schedule among 114 Division I-A teams and still finished with a perfect record. Bobby Bowden now has a picture for that empty frame on his desk for FSU's first undefeated team. State champions, ACC champions, finishing with a record of 12 wins and no losses, undefeated, undisputed, wire to wire number one, 1999 national champions, the Florida State Seminoles.